Yes, uh, we are architects and um, uh, the reason for Pachak tonight is we found out early on that passionate creative people just talk too much. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're going to stick to us, although we are cheating a little bit. I hope nobody of you counts the slides. And, uh, but first to our um, day job. Uh, architects are uh, kind of expected to uh, make a difference. Uh, they have this social responsibility, you know, you're building the future, it's all up to you. And uh, so, yeah, we feel the pressure. Although we kind of uh, may to pick hey, up the challenge going. anyway. Yeah, let's get going. Um, so we try and make a difference uh, in uh, the smallest details. This is uh, our Gumi tile uh, for bathrooms because this is the place where you are naked and your body is most vulnerable uh, for the longest time in your house. And yet there are a glass, uh, ceramics, metal, slippery, sharp, cold. And uh, Gumi Tile is sort of more um, warm. Um, 20 seconds is fast. This is um, <laughs> hey, uh, pros, a very entertaining uh, hoarding. Uh, it's made from uh, balloon uh, uh, fabric, inflatable. You know, we all love balloons. And uh, why, do be, why be reminded of uh, the dust and uh, the dirt and the noise of a construction site when you could have a vertical garden and feel refreshed by uh, rosemary, mint? This ran all the way down on Sando. It was 300 meters uh, long. And the point is that just a construction fence can be something really interesting and we can make a difference. Uh, can we have the sound on, please? Um, this is uh, making a difference, like demystifying technology. It's uh, the biggest uh, interactive toy. Uh, it doesn't need explanation, as you can see from the video. And uh, it's uh, direct fun. I should be doing that, shouldn't it's, I? <laughs> um, uh <laughs> um, this, this was in the ground floor of the Shinmari building opposite to Tokyo Station. And as Astrid said, the key thing was there were no instructions necessary. This was six years ago. It's still one of the most... In, in, in the interactive things in the world. And you can see that it just inspires people to play and have fun. And of course, we had to put a volleyball because we're in Japan. And we co-developed this with Toshio Iwai, who was the pr programmer. Absolutely fan fantastic. That's our little bit of che cheating. We didn't design these. <laughs> uh, this is uh, construction is actually the biggest carbon emitter in the world, and uh, uh, so we thought, uh, you know, we got to do something about it. And this is one of the first reuse buildings uh, of 40 meters uh, story tower, 40 story towers in Hokkaido, uh, in a lovely setting. It's a resort, ski resort. And uh, uh, our client uh, uh, bought these and uh, needed to put them in repair again. So we thought these were built 20 years, years ago. I mean, remember when we first arrived in Japan, seeing these two towers, and we thought it was really bad they could build these in this beautiful nat nat natural surrounding in Hokkaido. So when we got the chance, we thought with a bit of paint, a bit of insulation, we can camouflage them and they disappear. So um, it's you been incredibly successful. You can see on that line, you know, it was all intended, of course. But very luck luckily in Japan, there are no visual pl planning restraints, which meant the first towers could get built, but also it allowed us to get the camouflage um, put through without any, any applications at all. A uh, wedding chapel makes a big difference in your life, of course. Uh, this one here is uh, in uh, Kobuchizawa in Rizonare. Again, the same client as the uh, Tomamu Towers uh, bought this defunct hotel. And just by having a wedding chapel there, uh, it's kind of revived the whole resort. There are about 10 couples uh, getting married in peak season on one, just one day. Uh, this is, uh, picks up on the veil of the bride, you know, at the end of the ceremony, it gets picked up, uh, she gets the kiss. And at the same time, this 11 ton uh, steel veil lifts up, a bit noisier than the way. This is where we're che teasing, <laughs> by the way, so it takes th th 38 seconds to open. So we'll just keep talking. <laughs> And uh, um, yes, it's, uh, the veil opens and the uh, uh, wedding party uh, steps out over the stepping stones, over the pond, uh, making sure not to fall in. Although uh, when we mentioned this to the client that there might be a possibility that the bride not seeing the, uh, where her uh, high heels go um, might fall in. I says, 
Oh, it'll make for a memorable day. It we've would definitely get on YouTube. Towels. It would definitely get on YouTube. And yeah, we've got lots of towels. But you can see that we've made this 11 ton piece of steel look like a piece of lace. It has 4,700 holes put perforated in it. Each has an acrylic lens which shines through onto a sheet. And of course, with 10 weddings a day, they have to have night weddings too. So, um, and as Astrid said, this was a completely ba ba bankrupt hotel. It was built in the bu bu bubble and went bankrupt. Um, Hoshino Resort built it, and we've converted it into uh, a brand new hotel, and it's all bit being reused. It was actually going to be demolished, but we've managed to save it. So this is our office, and this is, so that was our day job. <laughs> now we're going to talk about our night job. <laughs> and um, this was our office in Azabu Juban. We had it in a warehouse. We shared it with five other com companies, not architects. We shared it with the graphic design company, computer company, a brewery, thank you, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and a composer. And we had events there, and these events got bigger and bigger and bigger. That space was called Deluxe. Um, after we outgrew that, we moved into a new space just below Rapongi Hills. It's called Super Deluxe, and it's where super things go on. And um, we had four or five events in our office before each month. We, when we moved here, we had the potential of 31 events, and we didn't have enough events. So in our old office, we used to have show and tells. Everybody's been to a construction site, been on a good holiday. We all have di digital cameras. It's very easy to put a quick presentation together. And we thought, instead of just having us talking about where we've been, why don't we get everybody together and have a chat and show where you've been, the great construction sites. But as Astrid said, architects talk too much. So we thought, let's it's make some it, simple rules. <laughs> <laughs> let's make some simple rules. Uh, 10 slides, 10 seconds, bit short. 20 slides, 20 seconds. We started on the 20th of Feb February. February at 20 past eight, so that's how we got to 2020. And off we went, and we had one event, and that event has grown, as everyone said, it's fantastic. We had the, the next month, and now we're on our 62nd month, so it's been running for six years. We always get 400 people a month in Tokyo. Then during Design Week it, uh, in Tokyo, people started taking it around the world, this format, Pachacha Night, the same format, and we made a website, thought we'd do a little road sign, and it's, so when we realized the website didn't work. So, um, Today, it says in the brochure, 180 cities are actually in 198 cities. We're growing about two or three cities a day now. And there is a really big need because like in Tokyo and like in all these other cities, um, there are very few places where people can show and share their work. Mm. And this is just a great format for young students, designers, um, all sorts of people. This is in Rotterdam. You can see how big the queue, queue is yeah, outside. Yeah, not just the website was growing, the queues were growing all around the world. So you think that Bogota is about drugs <laughs> and guns, and it's a very vibrant, creative city. The mayor of Bogota said it's changed their city, which is a really amazing co compliment. We're getting lots of mayors who are writing to us right now. The next city, oh, and the other thing is we don't charge for this format. It's completely free, it's non-profit. We just make a very simple handshake agreement with each, each of the cities. That means it can go to places like Kampala in Uganda. And it just shows that all you need is a bed sheet. A bed sheet hung up and a projector to show your tw 20 slides. Mm -hmm. And this was just a really moving thing when we, we first um, agreed that they should have an event in Kampala and then to get these photographs where they're having an event in a forest. Um, last month, there were 55 events around the world. That's 15,000 people went to these events. And we're running at a, a rate about 45 this month going up again. So it is incredible. So, Anybody can present. That's my mother, who's 65. That's Astrid's daughter, who's five. Uh, my mother Flash. talked about her creations, her wedding cakes, her flowers. As Astrid's daughter talks about her trip to London with a digital camera that she took her own photographs. Even the mayors of cities are getting up on stage. And uh, Mayor David Miller was talking about people who blog about his city. He couldn't believe that people blog um, and are in in interested in Toronto other than he him. So. 198, it has to load, I think, this. Or maybe I have to press this. You're now going to see this is 198 cities. It takes exactly 20 seconds to put them all up. Um, <laughs> so um, please look out on our website at pecha-kucha.org, and you can see where the events are coming up. The next one is they're always the last th uh, Wednesday of the month in Tokyo. Thank you very much, and thank you to Todd, and thank you to Patrick. You've done a fantastic job, and uh, thank you all for attending and supporting this. Thanks, guys. Thank you.